Hi everyone, and welcome to Monstober Werewolves with Amber Stone Draws. Today we're going to be taking a look at everybody's favorite mild-mannered werewolf, Oz, from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Now, Oz is a weird one. His first appearance as a werewolf is the 15th episode of Season 2, in an episode called Phases. His costume in this one is pretty great, opting for a sort of Krynos-style bipedal werewolf that has, at this point, become pretty traditional. It's a rather rude shock when the next time we see Oz's werewolf form, it has become some sort of weird ape-like costume. In this second costume, he usually runs around on all fours, has no discernible ears, and more closely resembles a primate than a wolf. This has never been my preferred look for a werewolf, let alone one for a beloved character that will be seen on screen multiple times in well-lit episodes. Even when they do appearances of Oz in the comics, they go with a traditional bipedal wolf rather than the weird gorilla-looking critter, and I can't say I blame them. The Buffyverse werewolves are sort of a mixed bag. We don't get to see them often, and when we do, they're all different. Veruca, another werewolf from Season 4, has a similar costume base to Oz, but longer hair, since she has longer hair in her human form, and it seems like more solid, larger prosthetic face. <laughs> They also went a little bit darker with her nose to help give it a more wolf-like feel, which does help to bring it out of gorilla and more into traditional wolfman status. But overall, no one looking at pictures of Baruko or Oz's costumes would immediately guess werewolf. A later werewolf on the show Angel, Nina Ash, is a hulking beast, simultaneously bulky and gangly, with a huge torso and arms and an exaggeratedly extended back. You can tell right away that this costume uses arm extenders to add length to the arms and to make walking on all fours easier for the actors, though this one is definitely a full-on Krynos form and Nina rarely spends any time on all fours. She mostly uses these arm extenders to take swipes at Angel. Nina's head is more of a wolf head, though with its pushed back nose, protruding teeth, and slightly hairless features, it's probably the most grotesque of all the werewolves in the Buffyverse and genuinely creepy but we rarely see Nina's wolf form. Even in the episodes it features, the lighting is kept dark and shots are short. This is actually helpful for most werewolves and helps keep them scary, but it's murder on those of us trying to find good screenshots to draw from. The arm extenders though, they work well in some cases. To me, they're a distraction. I can't help but think of the behind the scenes from the 1995 movie Congo and watching the actors with no gorilla suits on running around on all fours like freaking gazelles is ridiculous and slightly terrifying. Like something you can laugh at in the light of day, but it haunts you later sometimes in the dark of night. Wow, didn't think I'd bring up a 95 Congo reference into a Buffy conversation, but there we are. <laughs> I'm really surprised to see so many people prefer the second costume in forums. And even the crew referred to the first one as the dead possum costume before trying to quote unquote improve it. <laughs> but this list didn't start out as a werewolf list. It started out as a my favorite designs list And I think by now you've all figured out that my favorite werewolf design is unequivocally the Krynos werewolf which the phases costume falls into Obviously Oz's second costume is a downgrade for me. What do you think? What Oz costume do you like the most? Have you seen Congo? Is Amy good gorilla? Throw down some comments below and let me know what you think